everybody! Happy Tuesday to you! My name is Steve. Welcome to episode 163 on the Steve Tendo Show. Wow. Tonight on the program, um, we're starting a Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD playthrough. You do not know how much of a pain in the ass this was to s download and stuff. Because I had it on my Switch. Uh, not my Switch. On my Wii U already. But then it was giving me a memory error message. And then I had to delete it and reinstall it. Alright. Uh, let's see. Will Steve Tendo fit down here? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? The tried and true. Steve. Let's do it! This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. Green peace! Oh, peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it all for himself. <laughs> With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. Oh, fix my mic real quick. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green, or cloth, Probably cloth uh, and green has appeared from as out of nowhere. I clothed, wielding the blade, wielding the blade of evil's pain, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the hero of time. His name was Steve. That's what they called him. <laughs> The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. A great evil that all thought- wait, uh, the, the great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Not being able to read tonight. Once again, crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. Why that one go quick? People believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Am I lagging? Hmm, no, there it goes. <gasps> Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. Well, I don't remember the story being this long. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. The goddess Hylia said, F you! <laughs> what became of that kingdom? None remain, oh no. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. <sighs> on a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. What's the coming of age, age for the green garb? Clothed in the green of fields, they aspire to find heroic blades and cast down evil. Elders wished only for the youths to know courage, like the hero of legend. Steve was his name. <laughs> Big brother! <laughs> brother! Wow. Oni chan. Oh, God. <laughs> I 
tested this out a couple of minutes ago. Get these seagulls off my porch. Big brother! Arr, where he be? Man, I'm sleeping. What do you want? Oh, she got one. There she is. Oh, no, that's him. <laughs> that's me. Man, it's been a long time since I played uh, uh, Wind Waker. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call Arrow's Lookout. So do you remember what today is? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, today's your birthday! It's your birthday. That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? She's close to getting senile, so you better get there. <laughs> Hurry up! Big, big brother, Grandma's at the house. Alright. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, wait, there is fall damage. And we're gonna... Oh, there's not. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me just... I'm trying to remember how to play this game. <laughs> Take that rupee. Oh, there's Snot Kid. Oh, it's not Snot Kid. Oi, Steve! Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, that you can jump to that rock out there? <laughs> is it? Tell me. Is it? Yeah, we're gonna do that. I don't want that one, too. Of course, I jump like a freaking idiot. that was worth I am playing on the Wii U I have my gamepad right next to me Wow I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday Steve so you can try little boy I'll run having a good Tuesday night that's so a wild wild pig I'm a wild pig Oh, it's the L. Yeah. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, smart one. You're my friend. Just targeted me. See, when I when you press ZL, remember how that means, you get target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. And the elderly honeys who want to pick up an old man at the milk bar. Of course, even if there isn't anything around the target, you can press that button anywhere to face forward. No, it's quite handy. Dude, I don't need you to teach me how to climb a ladder. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, growing up, Steve, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. No 
good. Oh good. Oh, he broke all the pots I wanted to break. Slash your racket! Can't you keep quiet? Apparently my microphone is cracking. You have knocked everything off my shelves, you fucking hooligan. Honestly, a hooligan I'm referring to is my younger, much less intelligent brother who happens to live downstairs. He hates studying. All day, every day, the louts just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's of any use to anyone. Alright, stop talking to me. I want to... I actually don't think there's anything here. I don't need to read that stuff. Yeah, pick up... No, I didn't want to... Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Later, old man. Alright, we gotta go visit my grandma. Oh, there's Snot Boy. I think this is my house. No? Okay, it's not my house. Oh, yes it is. Hi, Grandma. I have been waiting for you, Steve. Steve, is that you? Try these on, please. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why am I making that face? You got the hero's clothes? They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Oh, look so disappointed. Try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you have become the same age as the young hero spoken in all of the legends and whatnot. You don't have to wear them for one day. Uh, you only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. You want to make me whoop your ass with my walking stick. Oh, God, Grandma. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Or do we? Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. I heard he's a whale. <laughs> Ugh. Hanging the family shield on the wall is decoration uh, as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days oh look it's so spiffy yeah Christ you can fake it for your grandma <laughs> isn't that nice Steve they suit you perfectly a perfect fit well tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party so I'd better start getting ready shouldn't I your grandma's going to make your favorite soup. I just know you're looking forward to it. Grandma, I didn't remember it was my birthday until like 20 minutes ago. Now go get your sister. Okay, Grandma. Alright, so let's go. Right, you know what? Let's pick up that rock. Give me that dollar. There's Pothead. <laughs> oh my, Steve, congratulations. That outfit looks cute on you. Oh, look at this chick trying to pick me up. Ha. Hey, your little sister, Errol, was looking for you not too long ago. Oh, did I tell you? She was watching me not too long ago. And she said she wanted to learn how to carry jars on her head. So she could help your grandma. Hey, if you see Errol, uh, tell her that all she needs to do to lift the jar is stand in front of it. And press A. And set it down. She just needs to press ZR. Tell her, okay? Okay. I don't know what this A button is that you speak of. Uh, 
Another Snotsky. Oh, guys, are you following me? Hey, Snotsky. Sal, so, Sal, so, Sal. So, uh, so uh, aren't those clot? I can't even speak anymore. Let's try that again. Uh, so, uh, what are you doing? Okay. Glad I went back to talk to that kid. Dude, stop following me with that snot coming out of your face. Nice little ladder right here. Oh man, look at all these seagulls here. Ah, oi, big brother. Did grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So, anyways, Dee, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm not falling for that again, Errol. I'm gonna give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Well, thank you, Frosty. You got the telescope! It's your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure dearly. Set it to whatever those buttons mean, and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now! Do it now! And see what you can see. Using the gamepad, you can also touch and slide items to set them. Alright, well, game, I'm not using the gamepad. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift, just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh. Why don't you try it out? Right now! Try looking over at our house from here. Okay. You know, let's save first. Oh, I thought that was Y. Okay. Big Brother, are you using L to zoom in? Because you should be. Nothing is happening here. I, oh, I guess I was supposed to zoom in a bird man. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah, Steve! Look up in the sky! Bow! It's a Bird with a girl in his arm. Claw, whatever. Fish, mammal, whatever. I actually remember playing that boss fight when they at E3 when they announced the uh, Wind Waker HD. Jesus Christ! Steve, this is this is bad! That girl, she fell into the forest! She needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Off to get a sword! Um, I guess I'll have to, uh, talk to, uh, whatever the hell the old younger brother is of the, uh, thing. But I think I need to go up to the cave first. God, it's been so long since I've played this. I need to see if I remember everything. Oh, I can't even go up to the cave.
Alright, so, um... Right. We gotta go talk to, uh... The guy who teaches us how to sword fight. Because I think he'll give us a sword. If I remember correctly. Oh, what is the matter, Steve? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Steve? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Very good. The first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. Very good. <laughs> Next is the vertical slice. Hold ZL to target me, then press B. Keep swinging. Very, very good. Next is the thrust. You go like this. <laughs> Target with ZL, then tilt L forward toward me, then press B. Very good. Keep thrusting. You thrust by targeting with ZL. That I was. Next is the spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength, and then release it. Very good. Next is harder. This is the parry attack. Target with ZL until you see A, and then quickly press A. Oh, I forgot it shows up underneath me. Not on top of him. Very, very good. Now, finally, the jump attack. Throw your sword, target, and press A. Come at me once more. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword to hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero's sword. Wield it with me. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Uh, since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong. Okay. Can I smash those pots that are behind you? And he's like, yeah, don't misuse the sword. So I'm gonna... So I'm gonna... What's that? The Knight's Crest. Does that intrigue you? It is still too early to discuss such things. But if you happen across ten of those, show them to me, and I can tell you what they are and what they do. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. Do you see the way I looked when... When he was like, yeah, I can't tell you yet. It's good that those pots had nothing in them. Alright, so I... I think I can go up to the forest now. I don't need a shield yet. But I will talk to my grandma. Because I don't... Actually, I don't think she gives me the shield until... Until after uh, my sister meets with an unfortunate fate. I mean, t it is 2022. So, if you haven't played Wind Waker yet... Oh, okay. 
Pip, what's that thing you have on your back? Why are you carrying a dangerous thing like that around? I just changed her voice midstream. It's only been 20 minutes. Oh, all right, she won't give it to me. Sorry, Grandma. I gotta go save a girl. For a woman? What was that noise? It was awful. Better return home quickly. Sound like that can only mean trouble. You know what I'd do if trouble came my way? I'd throw rocks at it. Yeah, I, I know how to throw rocks. Yeah, I understand. Gotta go to the forest. I don't remember there being those crabs there. Whatever. Excuse me, that's that's not Snot Boy. That's Byron Snotsky. Try and stock up on monies. Making our way to the forest for the rescue the ladies. Oh, it's not my first playthrough. Hold on, I gotta change that. I didn't realize that was on there. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna refresh real quick because I want to change that on the title. I don't remember what exactly is up here. I think there might be choo choos. Fairy fountain sight ahead. Increase your fortune. Can't get that way yet. Because the uh, bridge is. Is the bridge down? Yeah. I think that's where I actually have to go. Grass. Take it. Get a dollar. Let's bonk our head on this tree. Nothing. All right. So we should be able to just jump across. I was like, if I remember correctly. Cave we go. <laughs> there she is. long way around. Yeah, I think I have, ha uh, this one? Oh, okay, I was right the first time. I don't have to go the long way around. Uh, 
beat that guy up. Fairy Fountain site. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune, so it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. But I don't have bombs. So I can't bust that up yet. But I can pick up these boulders! Posers. What's with that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. A giant bird! Oh. Miss, Miss Tetra! I don't know what he would sound like. Oh god, thank you. Thank goodness you're safe. But I saw you got dropped on the summit. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Summit? Does that bird drop me on top of a mountain? Well... Wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Don't repair our debt to that bird in full. Arr, but miss. What about the boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Uh, wow, thanks. Hi, Hi big brother. I gotta go save my sister. Oh, apparently, uh, he didn't think that through, did we? Ah, stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do. Oh, Grandma's gonna kill me! You want to come with us on our ship? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates. The terrors of the sea. Uh, what do we, uh, what do we, what do we get out of bringing some helpless little shit with us? I'll tell you what, we get a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? How do you figure that? Oh, it's the bird boy, the mailman. Whoa! Just who are you? What do you get off putting in an arm? Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Try this again. What do you get off putting in on someone else's conversation? Arr, arr, arr. Hmm, what would what would the bird sound like? Ah! <laughs> 
please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quaint little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by the bird. Oh, so you're blaming us. Then just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. Now, dude, you're a mailman. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls been getting? Maverick! He came for Steve Sony. And the, you heard the. <laughs> Haven't any of you heard that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also had long ears, does she not? Mm. That water is sitting on my chest there. <coughs> uh, much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. Oh, excuse me. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Mm. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's young Steve here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is that true? Bitch, you were in the tree. You didn't see me, and then you said to your cohort over there, Forget him! Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Steve's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Steve a little help now, would it? I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. That's not brave. That's suicide. <laughs> I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like that has to have something you can use as a shield, uh, like this. Uh, you know, something to protect yourself with anyway. Tell you what, come back with something like that. We'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. Well, my sister just got abducted. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Thanks, man. Thanks, Postman. Oh, that's Beetle Ship. Uh, I gotta check Beetle Ship before we go anywhere. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship! Girl, we have missing a sister. I do- Watch it. <laughs> I do pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Uh, maybe you'd sound more like- Ah, uh -huh. do you see anything you'd like to buy? Some- It reminds me of Fozzie. Bag. Oh, can, can I buy the- can I buy the bait? Yeah, I'll buy the bait bag. You got the bait bag! You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Thank you! You're the gr- wait, uh. You're the greatest! I'll never forget you. I got to make a member's card just for you! When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good! My shop is kind to its customers, not like that Pathmark, or, actually, does everybody know Pathmark? Uh, not, not like that Walmart, I'll tell you that. And now you have one point. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Bye! I wonder if I should buy B while I have the money. I do not have the money. Bye, Bye Beetle. Yep. Alright, where, where's Grandma? Steve, I thought I heard Arrow's cry from over there. Is it... Is it really true? Yeah, 
You didn't really help. You were just telling her how to put pots on her face. Man, that was grandma's. That was grandma's social security money, those two rupees. Hey, Grandma. What is it, Steve? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? She's still playing outside with the gold? She was a ducks. You better sit down, Grandma. Bossy, she knew. Grandma always knows. And see, she's devastated. She walked away. Steve. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, Grandma, I need the sword and shield. Whatever. Take it with you. You got the hero shield! This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Convenient that it was in your house. <laughs> Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. Ah, uh, you can move around if you defend. Why targeting? I'm sorry, Grandma. I guess it is true. Arrow really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? <laughs> what kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? The internet! Oh. I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, Harold. <gasps> yeah, Grandma, clean up that clean up that plate. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Uh, all right, now we get to tell the pirates. They get to take us with them on their journey. Yeah. To save my little sister. That it's their fault in the first place. Who's this little buck-toothed little punk? Whoa, that's a decrepit old shield. You sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? You're gonna find the back of my hand quite displeasing, lady. Well, whatever. If you're ready, well, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I said goodbye to my grandma. I like this music. And the whole town came out to see us leave. Good luck, Steve! Good luck finding Errol. Uh, that is Byron Snotsky. <laughs> On goes the new journey. Aw, oh, Grandma came to see us leave. She can barely see over the railing, but she saw us off. Bye, Grandma! Ugh! How much longer is this gonna go on? Do you have an estimate? God, what a bitch! Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. You sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back? Oh, banana. <laughs> Oi. Steve, listen, kid. You can't just stand around on deck. You're getting everyone's way. I told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Okay. I actually want to go up and explore. That reminded me of Donkey Kong 64 music for some reason. Yeah, is there anybody up in the crow's nest? There is. Hey, look at this kid. You! Go! 
Get out of the way, will you? Turn around right now. Climb down. Climb down? Not in my repertoire. Oh, that Nico didn't make out half bad. With you being the new swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal. But hey, the pirate... Uh, wait, what? Uh, I'll tell you, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. But hey, don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. I'll tell him to fuck off just like any other boss. I forget what this guy says. Uh, stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. <coughs> uh, most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it. Asshole. Oh, it's Bucktooth Boy. Oh, well now, uh, hoy there, Swabby. As of today. <laughs> Ahem. I am your, <clears throat> I am your superior, Nico. Uh, now, as I promise, I'll go easy on you. So you don't do, uh, so you do as I say, okay? Uh, this, this night is gonna need a lot of water. All uh, right. Uh, now, first off, you have to take the test on new pirates. Have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like. So you can cram it into the your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Oh wow. Pirates suck. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and press it. Okay. Now check this out! After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Listen, Swabby. Alright, uh, so I was able to jump from uh, to this first one myself, but that next one's too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! Dude, there's no way you can jump that high. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use that to swing, because I don't know what that means. <laughs> swing until you get close enough to the next platform, and then press A to let go. Again, another archaic term, the letter A. So, do you think you got, got the hang of it? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Here's the problem, though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you'll have to start over. If you don't collect all the flags within 60 seconds, you'll fail the obst obstacle course and not get the Apple computer in a trip to space camp. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way over here. One rough year, tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to, to, to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. It's gonna be good for a chuckle or two. Gotta go fast. Oh. Oh, well, that's a great start. Hey, suck on that, Swabby. What? You did it already? proud to have you as my underling. Yeah, go, f go to hell, Swabby. I, I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I don't get busted. Alright, Swabby. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's a reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. I could swing all the way over there, but I can't open the can't go through the doorway. You 
you got the spoils bag. I forgot that was a thing. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight things. Hi. Hey, Steve. We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, get up here. Oh, I'm smashing these barrels if I can. It's like she made me, my sister got kidnapped because of her. So I'm smashing barrels. I think the pirate theme is like semi like Groose, Groose's theme a little bit, which I had never noticed before. keep thinking my gamepad is my is my yeah, phone Come on. hey up here I would give her toad voice but I think that would just kill my my voice for days I was like, I thought we were here. Now you're up in the crow's nest? <laughs> oh yeah, no one sees that. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something I you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Some, uh, there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, uh, I knew it. Look, over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? Flock of seagulls. I'll bet you anything, that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'll be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Aww. What to do? What to do? I don't like that look in her eye. Are you crazy? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, it's the only way to do it. Trust me, you were stuck in a tree. You don't know what you're talking about. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Get the other kid ready. Is everybody ready? You got the uh, suicide note ready for his sister? Wow! Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you good. Oh, wait, that wasn't her talking. Two. Arrgh. You guys still got the insurance on that barrel, right? Oh, you stu gods. Forsaken Fortress. Ugh. I hate pirates. Your sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face, though. Priceless! Hey, I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone, either. 
I can see what you're doing uh, uh, through this stone. Now, obviously, you can hear me through it. So if you see flashing A, you better press that button. I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Use on the item screen to take a look. I on arrow. Oh, that's what that is. I was like, what am I looking at there? Oh, I forgot we need to carry this. Oh, I set that down. Bullshit right there. Can I walk right out of here? Let's see if I remember how to get out of here. Yes, I do. I think you're supposed to get caught there. I think. Let's see what we found. I think it's a I think it's nothing. You got the map. You view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U gamepad. No, we're not using that. Door the other way. Yes, there was. Is it clear for uh, for becoming Hyrule's next danger spotlight? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna make him drop his weapon. I'm gonna pick up one of the. Yep. 
Hyrule's next top victim. Okay, he already put them on. Okay. So we get our sword. So we get our sword. We're fighting with a stick. Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, you didn't really want that, did you? dead we've seen it the light I saw the light open up my eyes and saw the light um okay I think I need to get over there question is if I drop down there that's where we were because I don't think there was anything else What's in here? Let me see where this door goes. Where the hell is my sword? I don't remember.
Oh, you hit me. There you go. That's it. Oh, that's probably where my sword is. Uh, you just want to be timed out? <laughs> Jeez, Kyle. I'm glad you came for a few minutes. Drop the stick. Can use that. I didn't go this way though. That's nothing. Oh, I guess Kyle couldn't afford a timeout. I think Kyle just pops in here to just, just leave. Oh, I wonder if this is where I was supposed to start from. Actually, I don't think I can reach that. No, I can. I mean, Kyle might not have been able to afford the timeout. Just because he spends all his points, like, all the time around here. Alright, come on, pig face. Keep walking. Nice of him to throw his torch at us. I 
think I want to go that way. Let's see if we can get to uh, that X if we keep going this way. I think the X is our sword, I think. the top of the tower where your sister's being held you'll have to find the room right below the tower you gotta take the door to the outside then climb up from there you got that yeah thanks couldn't tell me where my sword was you can tell me the exact layout of the freaking temple Pig guards. All right, I guess that didn't stop it. Well, shoot. <laughs> Hope you guys like seeing this jail cell. First, the pirates make fun of me for having my sister kidnapped. Then, they won't let me on their ship. Then, they shoot me too far, and I lose my sword. A pirate's life is not for me. I think I gotta get back to where I just was. Could go that way, but the other way seemed a little easier. much all right so let's keep going why nothing in that box all right so we gotta get to that door again 
Oh yeah, because that rat's not going to be a pain in my ass. This time, we're gonna get let toothless Joe Jackson walk right past me, or that. Well, shit. Yeah, why why didn't he do that before? I don't understand why we got he got stuck on me before. the bear oh really stop right there god I cannot wait to get my sword so I can kick your ass You did I thought I was sneezing? No, that's that's me doing like little sidling noises. There's my sword. Sword you dropped. Yep. Yeah. See you in hell. We 
got him. Oh, they're, they're all the spiky-eared girls who look nothing like each other. Hey, look, it's my big brother. He's gonna save the day. They own each other. Get over here. Ah, uh, well. Soda, soda. Hey, uh, I'm not a pointy-eared hair, pointy girl. It's like, don't eat me. Hey, what's up, Squires? Oh man, it's Ganondorf! <laughs> yeah, get rid of him. He just chucked him like a rag doll. Mr. Ganon himself. And Link's dead. Floating in the ocean. Nobody's gonna save me. Oh wait, there's somebody gonna save me. I must have hit my head too hard. Now the ship's talking to me. Steve. Steve. Wake up, Steve. I think this is the uh, King of Red Lions talking to me. That's the name of the ship. Pull yourself together, Steve. I need a better regal voice than that. Oh, that's the wrong water bottle. Who the hell was talking to me? <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull with it. Jesus Christ! That's the right reaction. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. I am just a talking ship. Yes, Mr. Boat. I've been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. Oh, thanks. Couldn't have helped me. Made me ride with those stinky pirates. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... What? His name is... What? His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Steve, do you still wish to save your sister? Of course I do, bro. And will you do anything to save her? Uh, what do you mean anything? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. I don't know why his voice changed like that. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what a little strength you have. Do not human. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. It does a lot of searching the ocean for it. Do you understand? Sure, I guess. In that case, we depart to the great sea. But, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that can talk, I possess no sail. 
And with no and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I've brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. And if not, we're fucked. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I'm useless. Yeah, it's good, talking shit with no sail. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there's no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. So no target practice. I'll know! Of course I want to keep playing game. Windfall Island. Eh, look at these scrawny little punks strutting toward them. Hey, kid. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. How about you? You spread rumors? What? Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute. And all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers! Smart ass little kids. It's not like I'm sneaking into your house and breaking your pots or anything. I mean. Those kids told me to do that. Oops. Um, I don't remember what's in here at all. shop and you're sneaking here you little rat shoo beat it scram vermin ten thousand twenty thirty thousand rupees you're an asshole I don't remember why there's a secret entrance for the bomb shop. Let's talk to this guy. He looks cool. Ah, so I'm feeling pretty good. What? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. Got a black splotch one. Black splotch pig, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I've let him ashore to graze over yonder. But the thing is, can't stop worrying about him. Shit, my head. Oh god. Oh, uh, oh, if you please, young boy there. Please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, alright. Ooh, oh, my po sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter. Poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud! Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pay. Dude, my sister got kidnapped. I'm not paying you because your daughter was kidnapped. You, you don't look familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. 
Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. Town's always lively. Ha <laughs> ha! Why, just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's a mark of a great town. Hey, it's, uh, Jive and Jones. Oh! No, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Hey, bubba. Oh dear, pardon me. Pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I I'm taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. And I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two. One, two. Say, guy. You know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. Ooh. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Yeah, we don't have anything to do with that guy yet. Hello, there's a switch there. I I don't remember really any of this. The question is, do I need a pot to stand on this? Yes, I do. Hey, it's Tingle! I just freed Tingle! Oh! Yay! Hooray! Thank you oh so very much. Here's Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa. Become an item. You got a Tingle bottle. Using Meverse, none of this makes any. We don't need to know any of this because Meverse is no more. Mr. Fair. Are you familiar with Meverse? Yeah, I was Tingle when it was a thing. With it, messages put in this bottle can be sent to fairies the world over. A communion of minds. Hearts beating as one. Just don't write anything unpleasant, like, fuck you, Tingle. Okay? Not that I have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. Splendid! Tingle is returning now to his own special island, where you can find him. I want to thank you properly. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, he's gonna give me a chart. You got- you got Tingle's chart! What kind of chart could it be? This says he's allergic to... cherries. Wait, that's the wrong chart. Open it up on the map screen. If you ever- if you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle! Don't you ever forget it. That is what Tingle sounds like. No one question it. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles that little extra oomph, that all tingles crave. You should check out the back of this cell. Check it out right now. Question is, why was you can now send letters and tingle bottles by using? Oof! Hey, Kyle's back. You can now send letters and tingle bottles. Set your tingle bottle. Blah blah blah. Uh, pick up tingle bottles that you find lying on beaches or floating in the sea. I doubt there's going to be any of those. Uh, some purposes of tingle bottle you want to receive anyone. Yeah, because it's 2022. Um, I don't think there's going to be any... I doubt there should be any Tingle Bottles. It's a shame that Miiverse is dead. That's such a... that was a cool little thing. But so is Street Pass. Street Pass was really fun, too. When you went to events and stuff, oh my god, that's where I got all my all my Street Pass hits for the year. Ah! Oh, that's a trap. That was Street Pass was so cool. And Club Nintendo and all that fun stuff. 
Well, the ship's gonna be like, hey, what are you doing here? No, I don't have a sail. I gotta go back into Tingle Isle. I loved Club Nintendo. Now, now that Nintendo knows that we want physical stuff, uh, my Nintendo is getting way better. Oh, I was like, is my jail cell still closed? Damn it. Surprised they didn't put Street Pass on the Switch considering to hand them over the slime. Oh, that would have been. That was such a good idea. And the fact that it makes sense is a reason why they didn't do it. Because <laughs> anything that makes sense, this company just sometimes decides not to do. I have a feeling this is another. I think this is another mouse. Nope. How about this one? There it is. Yep. I forget what's in here. They... I, I don't know. Well, the only way I'd get street passed with you is if you were by my neighborhood at 3 a.m. That's why street passes at events was so neat. Especially E3. That's where I think I got Reggie's, Reggie fils um, uh, me a couple of times. I got Mr. Awada, I think, once. Okay, I think this is what we wanted. Open the chest! I got the Picto Box! Don't know why the Picto Box is in prison. Photography reasons. <laughs> he was taking pictures of uh, small children. Oh god, that's terrible. No, that's why the, the camera was in prison. It's the camera. That's why the camera was in prison. It wasn't me. It was the camera. It was the camera who took those pictures. Not me. That's what every criminal mastermind says. It wasn't me, it was the camera. I think that's the only thing that we want in here. Oh, I mean, five bucks. I 
Did I just find it again? Oh, let's... Oh, okay. No, that's where we want to go. We gotta buy a sail, so we need money. Hey kids, wanna be in a movie? Oh god, the camera, it's already forcing its evil on me! That guy we think we talked to already. Huh. Hey, so you wanna sail for a boat? Tell me you're kidding with me. Uh, tell me you're kidding with me. Listen up, laddie. Try using your hand a little more. What makes you think a bloke like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea? Want to give away the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie. Who said I was begging? I would have bought it. And, Bar and Barack Obama, you found him? Uh, it's, it's a peaceful place, this here island. The people here would never even dream of leaving their little paradise and setting sail and avoid at sea. Know what I mean? Why, this town is full of faces that don't even show the slightest interest in the sails of a ship. Are we sailors the only ones? Has no one else set out on the Great Sea? Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. I don't have anything for delivery. If you could indulge me for a moment... Please admit that I'm looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm like 11, probably. I don't know, maybe like 13. With the potion shop, I can buy a bottle. Hello, hello, and hello. You're standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. Chew Jelly Juice Shop. Okay. Uh, you must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm. What's that? What's Chew Jelly? You ask, looking somewhat bewildered? Yo, sir. You simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring me an empty bottle uh, to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? I do not. Can I buy one? Yeah, of course. Good night, Kyle. Found it. Oh. Okay, I thought I could get an empty bottle from him. But, but no. Don't go taking pictures of children. They, hey, this is like the Middle Ages. They should be proud to be in a Chichuki Steve Tendo movie. It's a joint venture. Oh, I remember smashing all these pots. Or not. I think there's an auction that takes place that has a heart piece or something. A thrilling night of money and desire. This way to the auction house. 6 a.m. p.m. to 6 a.m. Damn. Alright, well, we have... We need a sale. So, we gotta go bound! See if there's any money in this pot here. I guess there is. Regenerating five bucks. Look at this guy. See, look at mobster. Ah, looking for a sale? I got no idea where you find one. Do I even look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Go past that guy in the massive coat or whatever. Okay. Oh, look, it's more ladies. She's so saucy, isn't she? 
I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has, uh, wait, rumor has it she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Hmm? Now just what are you doing? Are you listening into us, you little scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know it's bad? Eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adult ears? Yeah, while well, you're saying the teacher's a bitch. We're discussing very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. I'm trying to save the world, lady. You're far too young. So, my story is a strange one. Came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits! Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the- oh, uh, that didn't sound right. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler, and well, yes, indeed! Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom. The people of this town do not seem to least bit interested in that. Yeah, they want- give me a sale, bro. 80 bucks? Yeah, I'll do it. You got the boat sale! Press A while you're on your boat. You got anything else? Oh, okay, so we actually need a... Need a bag for him. Okay. Huh. Hey, look at this lady. Oh, well, you know what? There, come this way. Oh, can I help you with something? Let's talk. When night falls around here, this place fills up with all these sour, swarthy sailors. In fact, there's this little boat called the Shop Ship that shows up at night and cruises around the island selling things. I'm not sure what the story is with that. I guess what I'm trying to tell you here is that this town has two faces. The nice, pretty one you see in the day, and the darker, shadier one you see at night. But I suppose that's too heavy a concept for a youngster like you, eh? Oh, there's a... Oh, cr oh man. Lately, I've been hearing that monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. I can believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped. Poor Maggie and Mila. It just breaks my heart to think about those two. Both their fathers are desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. It looks like a cross between George Costanza and Jay Leno. Big chin, bald head. We live in a society! Um, let's see, there's a ladder up there. I don't think I can do anything with that yet. Let's talk to this guy. People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island. All hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that this is the island where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important, sure. But don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time. And I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. Dude... At least five seconds talking to you. Hey, look! It's a Mario! Hey there, boy! Do you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just to send it to one of those and use the button to put it in the post box. It's that easy! Before long, the rent the postman will come to deliver it to whomever you sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. <laughs> hey, you see my brother Luigi over there. Oh god, I'm glad there, there's a week in between the next episode of this, because my voice is going to be shot. I forget what's up here. Oh, a hey, switch. What does this do? Oh, it starts to... Windmill. Yeah. Evidently. Oh shit, there is fall damage. That's further than where I fell. 
earlier? I don't think so. No, oh, those guys are getting the John Travolta mobster voice too. Actually, I don't think I can get over there from up here. Or can I? This is the, I think, the Photoshop. Oh, look at this guy. If he had a smaller nose, he'd look like me. And now, my regular voice. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? No, nah, dude, I found it in the prison. <laughs> there can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time. Look around. I implore you. And while you're here, please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery. You're bound to find it quite exciting. Young sir, I guarantee it. I just want to smash these pots. Um, let's see. I gotta check everywhere, because I don't remember what's what, because it's been God knows how long since I've played Wind Waker. Ah! Okay, they just walk in automatically. <laughs> ho ho ho! Aren't these some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. Well, found a camera in the prison, and this guy likes to sneak up on people. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, to pick the graphs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. My pride and joy! You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs whenever I went. Have a look at them. I am not checking all these. Hello, how do I get over? There's two chests there. How do I get there? Axe man! I'm, you're not the boss of me. Anymore. Anymore. Get away from me. I'm not ready to talk to you yet. Oh, this is the shooting mini game. I'm not ready to do that yet. I want to explore first. Who's this guy? Hey, you know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. Used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite nifty manner, but we rarely get a favorable wind anymore. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though, so if the wind blew in the right direction again, we just have to hit the power switch. Alright, so, uh, when we get the Wind Waker, we can actually spin this. And then that'll take me over there, above the photography studio. And then I should be able to get those chests that are above the photography studio. Let's talk to this lady. Well, what do you think about my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outset Island sent me this outfit. She's an amazing girl. She could put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. Ah, oh, she was teaching my sister how to do that before she got kidnapped. few more places to check. Mm. Mm. I 
wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila, was taken away from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. Can't recall the last time I slept more than a week. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? Sure! You're a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. Give my entire fortune for her safety. Yeah, okay, king. Rich, rich man boy. Alright, so there's a couple of places left we can check. Um, I want to go out this way. I uh, don't think... Actually, can I go there? No, there's nothing there. Nothing over here. We have this. We have the school, and we're going to talk to the mobsters. The kids that are right there. And yes, they are getting mobster voices. John Travolta voices. Let's talk to the uh, teacher. Hello to Miss Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? What can I do for you on this fine day when you need to talk? I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? Twenty years! Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. As It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him? Please, young man, for me. Sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Really? You don't think they'd be mean to a boy their age? Have you met... Have you met young kids? I don't think I've ever given her 40, but now that there's a map, there's a sea chart involved, we're doing it. Oh, there are the kids. Now I'll talk to you. What are you looking at, bub? <laughs> hey, bub! What, uh, what are you? Some kind of country rube? I mean, uh, look at that outfit. What a get-up. Yeah! Yeah! Yo, bud! You got a problem with the skillopies? Huh? Do you? That don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to, cause Miss Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tidy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty invincible gang of four. The killer bees. Do you think we listen to a chump like you? You yeah, will when I cut you in half on my sword. But I'll tell you what, guy. If you want to challenge us to a uh, competition-like thing, then uh, we maybe we'll think about listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? You want to challenge us? Yeah, I'll take you on, you fuckers. All right, your funeral, guy. The rules are simple. We're gonna go hide somewhere, and if you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try to catch us. Easy as that, guy. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island. So look for us around in the shadows and beyond the building and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it? Go! Oh, yeah, we're going that way first. You little piss ant, you think I wouldn't find you back there? Well, that doesn't seem fair. Yeah. 
Get him. I'm not nice, girl, you kid. Yeah, I'm playing hide and seek with these kids right now. I can't go after your, go hunt your daughter. Finding these kids. Juked me. Got him. I am awesome. Feels good coming from a kid my own age telling me that. here, I think. No, it must be the other stairs. So there's two left. Not inside. Oh. Wait, did he say he forgot it? That's the one I, that's the kid I caught. I'll talk to this person. You look like a curious boy. Do you know there's an island a little to the east called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say that the island is the home of a tribe of people who dance in the skies like birds in the wind. They call themselves the Rito, and they say a sky spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, a person who's never left this little island, it may as well be a fairy tale out of a children's book. There's one this way. There, I doubt there. Is there one up here? It'd be nice if there's one up here. There's not. They said they weren't going to hide inside. Oh, there's one on the tree. Oh, 
Oh, it's the mob boss! You get me! So there's one left. I didn't know they could hide on top of trees. That that changes things. Ah, now I gotta now I gotta check over there. Might as well hit this tree. Check. No, don't jump in the water. Hmm. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the get these kids um we're gonna sail on my because i think i know i think we're going to dragon roost island next i think or we'll just crash here after we find this last kid Why? there he is should have known he was back there school ah! I can't believe it. you found all four of us and you caught us all too talk about other defeat dude you're gonna run out of stamina no stamina looks like we lost all dodge killer bees no blocking stamina oh no I guess maybe it's time we chilled out uh, from now on we won't cause no more trouble for anyone and the reward your hide and seek skills yeah take this Oh yeah, got a piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. Ah, uh, this is our favorite possession. But you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, one more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Marie for us. Alright, I'm counting on you, bud. Okay, you need to go tell your teacher that you're sorry. They're heroin out wobble concerns. At least they don't have running, like, the snot dripping out of their noses. Because usually all kids in these things have that. What can I do for you this fine day? Seriously, the whole gang is blitted at the same time. Well, they're they're criminal masterminds. You did it, didn't you? I s you said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. Come and knock on our door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. Oh, thanks. 50 bucks. Oh, huh. oh, dude, I watched bleach up until the episodes with the snot nose character oh how far was that in i think i know what i think i know the character Ugh. i don't mind them too much but i remember that kid i think that was i think that was bleach it's not bubble the size of their head <laughs> that's anime staple oh and one more thing please don't tell anyone what Oh, alright. Well, she didn't tell me anything. Alright, now I gotta find the shooting gallery one more time. I get. I think I can get a heart piece from the shooting. Okay, we just walked out. Hey, it sounds like you apologized to teach for us. That good old Miss Marie. And speaking of bud, did you know it's gonna be Miss Marie's birthday soon? No, I just got here. I don't mind the sweat drips. I like the angry vein. Hash mark. Hash mark sweat. Hashtag sweat. Oh, boss, oh, boss! Ah, you think maybe we should give her some kind of present? Don't be stupid! We're the killer bees! We had no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teacher loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. 
Ótimo em 3 days, é... O que você chama de... Super form, Chibi. All in? I really, yeah, where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give the teach its present and she'd be happy like. Hey, now that, uh, think about it. When I was uh, climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light up on top of some tree. In, uh, where was it? I don't even mind a nose drip. The, yeah, the bubbles don't really bother me that much. I don't know. Maybe it's one of them their pendants. Uh, what do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. You saw a shiny? Where? Oh, uh. Oh, okay, now I gotta find this joy luck pendant. Alright, so it's on top of a tree. Um, I'm assuming it's the tree that he was on. Oh, I don't want to talk to this guy again. No! Leave me alone! Ball cap is stuck and drunk. That guy, he lost, one of the, his daughter was kidnapped, just like our sister, and he keeps asking us to, to find her. Guys, if it's the tree right next to the school. No, can I climb the tree? No. This is almost exactly like Elden Ring. Except the bosses are not nearly as hard. Not all of them, anyway. Where the hell is the tree? Do I have to hit the tree, or do I just have to jump in the tree? No multi-fire guided arrow platforms. No, that's true, too. Get away. Dude, fine. Dude, we just talked. There it is. You can't sleep at night. She just went missing like 25 minutes ago. <laughs> Yo, bud! Yeah, it looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Well, technically, the other girls went missing way before mine got kidnapped. Ah, listen up! It's gonna be Miss Marie's birthday soon. We're thinking of giving her a present, like. So it was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't be going around giving presents to people. No way! That just doesn't fit the killer bees! Ow. Come on, bud. Uh, can't you give it a teach for us? I hate these kids. But it's not like we could ask just anybody to do it. Oh, you're gonna f need to find Morgan Freeman. <laughs> get busy. Get busy dying. Or get busy trying. Or maybe Denzel. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be some reliable, like, who could keep a secret. Oh, thanks, guys. Guys, just, you're like seven. Tell your teacher that you like her. Instead of making some stranger that you just get away from me, mime guy. Alright, let's give this to the teacher. Where the hell is the school? Okay, here it is. And then we'll do the art, uh, the shooting gallery. I caught a few minutes of the Denzel Rami Malik. Might be worth watching. Slow procedural. Denzel Rami Malik. I don't know what that one is. Uh, 
let's see. Denzel. Oh, the little things. Is that what it's called? Okay. Rami equals Mr. Robot. Let me see some. Oh, I think I've actually seen this movie. I like this movie. Let me just see some real quick. I think I have seen that movie. That's not bad. I need to catch that in French Dispatch. That, I don't know what that is. But I think I have seen The Little Things. My dad was watching it. What can I do for you? What if... Alright. Oh, I have to put it in my item jar. Uh, it's in my... Nope, that's the bait bag. My dear, that's a true repentant. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else. Fuck the children, I mean, what? And that, or if that is extremely rare. French is the new Wes Anderson. I caught like a few minutes and I was like, what the fuck is this? Then it ended. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Oh my, yes. I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20. But that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Oh. It's like the Mad Queen. But if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Alright, so I think that's all we can do with the teacher right now, because we don't have any of those joy pendants. Is this the shooting gallery? The shooting ga minigame is kind of a pain in the ass, because it's like Battleship. And I think there's all kinds of good prizes. Hey, welcome! It's 10 rupees per game. You want to try? Yeah, okay. Alright then. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet! I am the great Admiral Dovolsky. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of the island. Admiral, red alert, all hands up. Can you eventually load her down with enough pendants that she ties them in OG? <laughs> She's just an elementary school teacher. An OG? What's an OG? I don't know what an OG is. I was assuming that it was some hip lingo that you knew and I didn't. No, they look more plastic than anything. Sonar shows that schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? Where? Oh, ho, ho. I see. The fiends approach. There are three squid groups. A large one, a middle one, and a small one. If we allow them to come in closer, the children on this island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of the their fiendishly hidden enemies. But to be forewarned, you only have 24 cannonballs. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use L to move the cursor and press A to fire a cannonball. Yes. I do like that. Wait, isn't that the four? Wait, did it? 
Oh, it's Dr. Orpheus. <laughs> I totally forgot that it did that. Excellent work, seller. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you. Oh, this is the best part. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of gratitude. Got a piece of heart. You collected a total of two. Whoa, wait a second. Fourteen? Hey, that's a new record. So you get these two. You got a treasure chart. Nice. So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. Uh, I can't tell how... I can't tell you how fun it is. Uh, wait. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And, uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out. Okay. Nice. We got a chart. We got a heart piece. I think... I think that's everything I can do with that guy. Playing with a piece of heart. Cutting it might be really smart. Uh, you know what? Let's do the... We got a few more minutes left. Let's... Do the... Let's go back to our ship. Because now we got a sail. Oh, I'm actually going to check the auction house. Because unfortunately, it's not nighttime yet. And I don't remember how the time system works in this game. Uh, so let's go talk to my ship. Tell him we got a sail. Sneak past... Uh, thirsting for water there. <laughs> oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well then, I will teach you the art of sailing. Come next to me. Wait, are we right there? God, I have no idea where that island is. Alright, so we're gonna go east. I think we're gonna get to this island. I don't know why Ryu from Akira hates you so much. You should. I love this music. black hair, blue mustache dude in town. He should like me. Everybody should like me. I'm a likable guy. Is that an enemy? Yeah. Oh yeah. Just walk down. Yeah, he doesn't like me. 
doesn't like me. Oh, yeah, we're going to that place, too. No, I put it away. Why didn't you stop? I think that's Beetle Ship. All right, fine. Goodbye. Also, goodbye. Hey, look! It's a treasure chest. All right, offshore oil drilling platform. They've been they've been just doing their job. Oh good. All that for 20 bucks. Oh yeah, that is Beetle. Hey, we're making a We're making a slight detour. Actually, I don't know if I can catch him. Yeah, because the wind is blowing the wrong direction. was Fozzie Bear. Oh, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Ah, thank you as always. I appreciate your business. If you have anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off you. I prefer you want to buy something. You're right. We'll buy the bait. You got all-purpose bait. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Yes, thanks to you. Now you have two pants. Bye. Nope, that's it. Bye-bye. I'm glad I chased him down. Alright, so we're gonna go to the, uh, we're gonna follow the sea chart. And we're gonna go to this island out here. This used to take forever in the original game. Oh, I guess we're there. Right. There on the horizon. This is our destination, Steve. Dragon Roost Island. Except I don't have any bombs. High atop the islands, peaks, lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a minute. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods. But I don't know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try it. No thanks, you couldn't give him that to me. Before first conduct in three fourth time. Do not touch L. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting R up down right. Up down right.
up, down, right. Oh. Alright. Up, down, right. Oops. Wow, why don't I remember how to use this thing? There we go. Up, right, left, down. Up, down, left. Oh, excuse me. Up, right. Oh, damn it. Up, right, left, down. That's a pain in the ass. I don't remember that being so freaking difficult. You received the legendary Wind Waker! By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Let's just read this sign. Oh, there's bomb flowers here. I think there's another explosive fruit beans. I think we might have to wait till we actually get bombs to do that one. be able to get that other one. I'm kind of surprised I got to that one. Wind Shrine Mail Center. We gotta go to the... We gotta go to both those places. Oh, I could probably reach around for that. Know there were bombs over here. I cannot just. That's why the sign was pointing up. Oh, what is on there? There's a chest on there. Hello. Yeah. Alright, let's just finish collecting these rupees. And then, uh, I think if, if we get into the uh, mail center, that's where I'll save. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give us a follow. If you want to subscribe, we would love that as well. Steve Tendo Show will be back tomorrow. Oh, God. Uh, with some more Final Fantasy 2. Shit. Cannot hit this one. where we want to be. Yeah, we'll talk to this bird guy. And then we'll call it an episode.
Steve. Steve, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister? She? Nah, she's still captured. Captured. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Steve. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us retail were very concerned. I'm, cons I'm certain the chieftain will be a friend you and lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly up ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside. All right, well, you're gonna have to wait a week because uh, I think this is where we're gonna wrap up because we're gonna have another we're gonna have a dungeon to deal with soon. So this is a good place. Like I said a few seconds ago, if you are new to the channel, make sure to give us a follow. And if you'd like to subscribe, will you be helping out the Shack News family? We'll be back on the Steve Tendo Show tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I think it's 8 o'clock. It might be 8.30. I don't know. Uh, there might be uh, stock stuff going on that pushes things a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Um, but uh, um, we'll be playing some more Final, Fan Ow. Final Fantasy 2. You know, we'll go to the title screen, because we saved a few times. Let you enjoy the Wind Waker. But you know what? We'll enjoy this music. Ow. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for me. My name is Steve. We hope to see you in the next one. Laters! Have a good night.